I would like to say how much I have enjoyed working with my fellow board members and all of the staff at Red Cross, uh, Southeastern Pennsylvania chapter. Uh, they are wonderful people, very, very talented, and just absolutely uh, give their best every day. Harry walks the walk. Uh, this is a guy that has donated over 21 gallons of blood himself. Uh, this is a guy who makes sure that the company that he's associated with makes a very substantial six-figure contribution to disaster response every year. Harry's management style is all-inclusive. Uh, that's what he's all about. Harry is the most organized person. He knows what he wants to do. The board meetings are run so well. His ability to be able to motivate and rally the troops to a common place is very, very admirable. And it's been a key ingredient that has resulted in the Red Cross being successful in the very challenging last couple of years. He listens to other people. Uh, the spotlight is often on someone else, very seldom on him by his own choosing. He has a wonderful, wonderful way with people, including his colleagues on the executive committee and the board, but also volunteers. Um, and I think that there's a, out of that calmness in the, in the face of the storm that often confronts the Red Cross, um, has come some truly effective leadership for the benefit of this organization. Ambassador at large and wise counsel. Uh, he's the sense of humor too. Harry's sense of humor is good. I really like that about him. It's hard to have meetings about disasters and have a sense of humor, but he knows how. I think his ability to be able to work with National as well as the chapter in the Red Cross, his ability to really be able to motivate the staff and retain a very focused organization in these challenging times. Decision about the Red Cross House and whether to maintain it or whether to let it go has probably been the biggest thing in his leadership. To help maintain the strength and the integrity of the chapter and the value that we deliver to the people in southeastern Pennsylvania who so desperately need the services of the Red Cross. I think a lot of that credit goes to Harry McHugh and the, and the way in which he has led this organization. Harry, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your passion about the Red Cross. Thank you for all you have done to provide such great leadership in a time when it's been greatly needed. Harry, I want to thank you for your commitment and for your leadership and for pointing us in the right direction at all times. Your thoughtfulness, your caring will be something that we all take with us and hopefully will be a guidepost for us going into the future. Harry, I personally want to thank you for your leadership as chairman of the board for the last couple of years and I really look forward to working with you in the future. Harry, thank you for your head, uh, for your heart, uh, for your time. Uh, you've been a terrific chair, uh, you've been a good friend to so many of us and we're grateful for all of your service. On behalf of uh, several million residents of southeastern Pennsylvania, I just want to thank you for everything you have done for the Red Cross, for your leadership, for your passion, for your commitment. You have passed the ultimate test of leadership because you have left this organization stronger and in a better position than when you arrived. I join everybody in congratulating Mike Kozlov in becoming chairman of the southeastern Pennsylvania chapter of the Red Cross. I think he will enjoy uh, wonderful success, given uh, the wonderful staff that uh, Red Cross has and, and will continue to have, and all of you wonderful volunteers who continue to do the major work of achieving our mission every day, every night when the call comes in.